Please read it. Why do I deserve hell? What is it? Why do I deserve hell? Well, I mean, according to what God says, all deserve hell. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Well, that doesn't seem like a God I want to worship if he's oh. saying I deserve to be eternally tortured. Oh. Well, I mean, if you disobey anybody, they're gonna, there's going to be repercussions for it. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, yeah. If I you get... disobey the law, you know, you probably will get trouble, cited, arrested. Well, I knows? get that, but doesn't it seem like cruel to put humans into the world? Only for them to commit sin and then send them to hell for yeah, what I mean, the Bible describes as eternal damnation. I got you. Well, I mean, if you were in charge of a lot of things and you made rules up, you know, you'd expect people to follow them if you had that power. Well, yeah, but I mean, the you Bible describes it as impossible to follow those rules. That's why Jesus died. So that well, we where could... would it say that in the Bible? What's that? Where would it say that? Second... That it's impossible. Well, that it's impossible to obey him. Well, it says it's impossible not to commit sin. That, and in the beginning of the Bible, when Adam ate the apple, or the fruit, I guess it described it, it describes it as he eats the fruit and, you know, that damns humanity. Like, well, because he disobeyed. Because yeah, yeah. he was specifically told not to eat from a specific... Well, yeah, yeah, I get that. But, like, that's the point when it describes humanity as everybody's going to commit sin past that point. That's why Jesus died, so that, the regular person well, the Bible says all have fallen short, but we all do it under our own volition. We don't. We're not forced to sin. So you think that one time that I like stole a candy bar in the second grade, like that's that's you know that's. You knew it was wrong. Well, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. But you're saying I deserve to like burn. Well, not just that. I'm sure there's that. other things that oh, you could admit to is, doing that you just knew was wrong. And oh, did of course that. there is. Right. Like, well, see, that's the interesting thing. I mean, the Bible even speaks it clearly. It says everyone. It says everyone makes a law right to themselves, but they can't even keep it. You know what I'm saying? And, and in every person's eyes, they see themselves as being right. So you believe that everybody goes to hell since every no, everybody deserves that. Even I deserve it. Okay, I see what you're saying. But what, what I'm saying is what God did was he gave us he gave us his grace. He came in the person of his son Jesus okay. Christ right, and died for us. Well, he, he made that place for the devil and all those who desire to follow him. So the devil, the devil is just, he's, he's just a, a, a pawn, really. He's the one that tries and tests us. I mean, wouldn't it be true love if someone just willfully loved you back instead of you forcing him to love you? No, Isn't that really, wouldn't that feel better? Yeah, you know, of course. The devil is God's pawn. He's playing against all of us. I mean, yeah, I mean, God... It's not necessarily that God provokes anyone to evil, because God's not provoked by evil. But I mean, think about it, it's His world, He created it, and He created us in His image. And if we're created in His image, sure, He gave us a will to either serve Him or walk away from Him. What if we've never heard about Him? What if you've never heard about Him? There's yeah. none that deny that there's a God. The Bible says that. I mean, what the only reason people deny Him is because they don't want to well, follow not, any I mean, there are people on this planet who have never heard the name Jesus. What, there's Jesus? Yeah. Hindu, they Never heard well, right. There's, heard there's still Hindu. people that need to know about the truth. But they know about God. Well, well, what if they they all, 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 all worship like a deity type thing. Like they worship another it could deity. be an idol or it could be something they were yeah, told. Yeah, so they're about. going to hell? I mean, if they don't put their faith in Jesus, What if yeah. they don't know about him? They never heard about him. They'll all get an opportunity. God's just. He's totally just. You don't, I mean, if you grow up in the middle of the Middle East, I mean, everyone's telling you to follow Allah. How are you going to all of a sudden wake up? You know, God's gonna God's God's a just judge, man. You know. I don't know. And He saves the upright heart according People to His word. People are pretty word. brainwashed and devoted to <laughs> run planning the buildings. No, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're kind of mocking or what have you, but I mean, you know. You're going to stand before God, too. So I'm just here to warn people. I'm here to share the truth. You can reject it. You can go on your merry way. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I care enough to at least try. I mean, God loved all of us so much he came and died for us. So that's the way. This is nothing compared to what he did. What about all the, like... I'm Joe, by the way. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Evan. Evan, nice to meet you. Yeah, huh? Hayden. Hayden, nice to meet you. No, like, in third world countries, like, he lived in South Africa for two years. Like, got to see all of like the terrible you... things that can happen to humanity. Did I give you one? Oh no, no, I'll give you one. Sure, I'll give you So, all the terrible things that happen to humanity, like disease, you know, yeah. hunger, all of that stuff that people can't help but they're born into it. Now, why would God create a world that there's all of this stuff, all of this terrible, terrible stuff that can happen? Like, uh, parasites that like dig into children's eyes. Yeah. Like, why would a God create that? It sounds like, terrible. Well, yeah. It's because of sin. Once we've sinned, we've all fallen short. So these little children it corrupted are, the entire world. These little children are starving with AIDS just because somebody else made a mistake? It's from sin. From That's other people's it's sins? From. It's from Three-year-old children? It's from sin. So, so God just like butthurt that these other people made mistakes. 
So he's like, you're all paying for it. If your dad was gay, does that mean you deserve to be whipped? Like, that's not, that's not how I'm looking at it. Well, see, God's going to give, everyone's going to give an account to God. So like I said, I mean, according to the Bible, which is where the authority came from, I mean, I'm not here to judge God's motive. Sure, a lot of those I have questions about too, you know, but it's his way. I mean, according to the word, if you've ever read the Bible, that's where, you know, that's where my foundation is from. And other people, I, it used to be that. It used to be like, well, I don't believe God because of these reasons. This is bad. Why do bad things happen to me? I do the best I can. But see, God's really got to come and invade your life because no one can know the truth without God really drawing them to it. And I mean, there's people trying to reach all kinds of third world countries. I mean, I had some friends that went to Kenya in an area. Yeah, I mean, they have to have an interpreter to really speak about Jesus. It might have been the third, fourth, fifth time they've heard it from different missionaries. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's there's access to this information. And I mean, but God's called all men everywhere to repent. And what that is, is to turn from your way and your sin. Sin's lawlessness. See, God's made this law, and of course our government's adopted it. Look at our laws. I mean, that stems from God. I mean, they're perverting it and changing it with the homosexual and abortion, all these weakness is wicked. It's clearly wicked, but see in the Bible it says if you have a heart that doesn't believe God, that's wicked. You ever been to Forest Park? Forest Park, yeah. Uh, it's Road, I've been to Forest Park. There are plenty of gays there, they wrote their lives, they're the youth pastors, they're gay, I mean, they don't see anything else. Yeah, according to the word, you know, it's wrong. Yeah, you're not gonna the see the also, kingdom of God. It's also in the in first Corinthians tells you how to take care of your slaves. I mean, it tells you it's right to keep slaves. Even tell slaves to obey. Right? You know, there's people that willfully want to be a slave. I mean, why so, I mean, you should treat them right if they're going to be your slave. I work for someone. Yeah, I do whatever he asks me. That's in, in reality, that's really, I'm his slave. Yeah. And sure, slaves in the Bible, they were taken care of. I mean, God told them to take care of them. Well, and if I mean, they he didn't. allows them to beat them. He even says, no. Yeah, well, it says in the First Testament, you can beat them as long as they don't die. Two days after, I swear. Where is I, don't, I don't know who said it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wrote that. I read it for myself. I don't know if you're just, you know, just, just trying to just prove me wrong, but it's not really proving me wrong. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just letting the spirit well, I'm just asking you about it. Of course, we're not trying to prove you wrong here. I don't have the whole Bible memorized. Of course, of course, nobody does. But you know, the essential side of it is what God's revealed to me in my life, and that I'm the wickedest person I'll ever know. I mean, I'm not out here saying anybody's worse than that. So, I mean, I'm so thankful that He actually revealed it to me. I mean, so that I cried out to him, man. He revealed himself to me and then came. I mean, the Bible says, you know, he'll come in and dine with you and you with him. I mean, he's at the door. He's knocking. He's died for the sins of the world. But not the, the world didn't know him. The world doesn't know him. A visible appearance in everybody's life? Like, we can all look at... I look at each and every person. We're all made in the image of God. So... To me, there's a great concern because God reached his hand out, you know, for everyone. And I mean, the Bible says that they didn't regard it. And they, they didn't want any of his counsel. They hated his every rebuke because it goes against what we want in our desires and our flesh. Did you grow up in a Christian home? I mean, I was influenced by the I mean, what if you grew up born in the Middle East? I can't say. I mean, can't say. I mean, what do you think? Like, how do you I can't say, but I've, I've, I've met people who come out of it. Not most. I mean, what are they supposed to do? I, mean, they I can't say it. even not They most. have the same exact beliefs you do. They have the same spiritual <laughs> You mean like a God like or, a drive and a desire to, yeah. Yeah, to, to do serve their God. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they have the same. There's a lot of people that do that. Spiritual moments with their God. I mean, what, who in are they the, worshiping? In the end, they're going to be judged just like I am. So who, you know they, what who I mean? are they worshiping? Though? Just what, Allah? Allah? Yeah. I mean, I mean, for the little bit I've heard about it, they, there's a lot of different gods. Allah's just one of them. The name Allah. Yeah. They say, oh, it's God, and it's the same God. It's just a general God. But see, each and every person is going to worship a God. It can all be the different. It can, they can all be different gods. Still have plenty of people who are like born into atheist families. But see, the big difference is Jesus. Yeah. It's what you're going to do with Jesus. It's what you're going to do with them. Anyone who hears the name of Jesus. And I mean, the Bible says that none come to Jesus without God drawing them to Him. So I mean, just like me, I had to cry. The Bible says, uh, "Repentance towards God, put your faith and trust in Jesus." What about my case? I, I'm the type of person. I'm in the church like nearly every Sunday for my entire life. You go to church.
So then it's like, if everyone rejected him, but then when he resurrected, and the ones that just really believed him and couldn't believe he died, yeah, he was when, he, when he revealed himself to him, just like he did to me, it's almost as if I had seen him, which I've never seen him in the yeah. flesh, but he revealed himself, and so, I mean, it just was like too good to be true that I could be forgiven of all those wrongs that I've done. I still remember them. Do you believe that all humans are created equal in God's eyes? Or do you think there's certain people... You mean like the, the American, like... Not, not exactly, not exactly based on... God's not a respecter of persons. When humanity was created, believing in a God... The accounts of the Bible of what happened. Okay, so every person that ever lived has had that religion, that option. Everyone That's worships something. Okay. I mean, I can't say but, it's the Christian, yeah. you know, or whatever. Because you can look at history if you believe, <coughs> you believe man's history. You know, I'm trying to share the one who wrote the, the accurate history, which is according to the Bible. But are you are you saying that you have to follow Jesus Christ to be? Yeah, that's how exclusive to be accepted into it. Yeah, without Jesus, kingdom. see, I mean, in the Bible it says that Jesus gives light, he gives life to every man coming into the world, and. Uh, he said he's the way, the truth, and the light. There's no other way to the Father except through him. Okay. So, Wait, I mean, he's, what I said earlier, what if you've never heard of him? The word, the name Jesus, how do you well, know? Well, I mean, him? that's not you. No, I'm not saying you've heard of him. Me. I mean, that's not you, you've heard of him, you've heard of him. So, I mean, right now, and just directly, this is but, where I mean, that's so at. In right modern here. day, we have found, like, scientists. I mean, have found people that have never heard of the name Jesus. Well, what are they supposed to follow? There was that island. Did you, did you ever, did you hear that news story? There was the island of people. And these, these couple of missionaries went to that island and were like, okay, this is our godly duty. We're going to go to this island and we're going to instill God's values in all of these people. So they go to the island and just immediately get slaughtered. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I think I've heard something about that. Yeah, it's real. Cool. And they like ate them or something. Yeah, it's just I think I've heard about that. Yeah, terrible, terrible stuff. Yeah, that's like, not the true God. That's but not. Those people, like those people. What's, wait, what's not the true God? The, what they were serving, those people over there. Who were they? What God were they? The ones that they killed. The ones that. Yeah. That's people, not the true the God. The people that God killed were trying to instill what you believe. But see, I mean, the Bible, that's where it makes it easy for me because I trust the Bible and it says not to lift anyone up into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or to cast not, anyone into I mean, the abyss. Not everyone has the Bible. Not everyone has the option to, to know well, anything about the Bible. Right, so I kind of look at everybody blanketly, like everyone needs to hear this message. Okay. So I mean, I'm not here to just okay. say, okay, yeah, you're going to But I'm it. saying, you're what if it. someone doesn't get the chance now, to hear that message? Now, from what I'm hearing from you, you know, coming out of your, you're not really following that faith, so I will warn you that you're in danger. You okay. know what I'm saying? You're in so danger of the judgment. percent of the world is Christian. So you're saying 80% are just under some weird delusion, right? No, but if that's true, 80% is under another delusion, right? <laughs> I just don't. No, switching gears a little bit. It seems like there's, there's, there's like, not. I mean, it doesn't seem like it. I don't know if you guys are just trying to mock if you're serious. I don't oh, know. no, we're not oh, mocking okay, at all. Okay. We're, the point of a conversation like this is to, right. is to sort of further both of our I appreciate it, by the of, way. The, of the viewpoints. You know, this like, is the most conversation. Yeah. Usually people are just like, like take when, a track. When we ask questions, we're not trying to like throw you off or anything. We're trying to understand your viewpoint of the situation. Just like when we explain what we think, we're trying to, you know, at least let you understand our viewpoint. If you're not going to believe it, that's okay. I've heard all these you're not asking, by the way. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, they're common, common things. But we're not asking you to believe what we believe. We're not asking you to make us believe what, we, what you believe. But we're just, you know, trying to trying to get a greater understanding of what each other yeah. thinks. Well, I mean, that's just, I've shared everything I can. I mean, I hope you got the gospel message no, from it. And, and you took the gospel track. Yeah, yeah, I got so it. That's I got cool. It. I don't have any contact information. A friend of mine makes it. But. Okay. 
So if we're wrong, say say we're wrong, but you wholeheartedly believe. So you're wrong. Which so you're okay. wrong and so I'm we're right. Wrong or we're wrong or you're right. Okay. 100%. Will we? What? What is hell? Will we go to hell and burn forever? Like say we. It's, out, it, it, it's all the kingdom of God, but it's outside the gates. We, we it's live, where the it's where all the garbage is. That's so where, we live the rest of our lives thinking exactly like we think today. You live the rest of your life thinking like you think today. Are we? The Bible describes hell as burning for eternity. It, eternity. Yeah, the Bible says God's not willing that any perish, but that all will come to repentance. So really, the fear of God, I would say start with that. Fear God. So you think and, and if, he, knows your, he knows if you're sincere. And turn from your sin. Repentance. So do you and when you do these things, from what I've, what I've experienced, man, it's like God reveals more. Do you, do you believe that there's repentance after death? So say, I die, I think like I think, like I say I die. Well, the tonight. Bible says it's appointed for man to die once after this, the judgment. So, so no, I get not after you die. You judge after that, just like the final judgment. There's judgments now, and men, the Bible says a righteous man can judge all things, but he himself is judged by God. What about Adolf Hitler? Like, terrible man committed atrocities. Like, atrocities I mean, if you believe that, that you know, the Holocaust. Some people believe that's the like, right. Some people believe that killing so, Jews is the absolute so right thing to do he, morally. He killed himself. He lied on his head. So, like, he, he believed in the same God you believe in. And I'm not saying that, that, that God supports that. I don't think you know that. that. I don't think you know if he believed in the same well, God. Say I mean, he does. the Christian God, he followed the literal interpretation of the Bible. There's a lot of people on TV that you can say, oh, that guy, he follows this same God that the guy on the street does. I mean, who's to say that he doesn't follow I don't know that person. Lesser, more than You'd have to, like, talk to him. And that's where this conversation, that's where it reveals so much. I mean, it really does. That's how I know what's in a person's heart is just by listening to him. Because the Bible says what comes out of the mouth is what's in the heart. Even so. within Christianity. But I have hope for everybody. I have hope for you guys. Even a Christian has a different view of the religion or their God, their Jesus, their love. Everyone has a different denomination, a different view of it. I mean, who's to say yours is right? You can't. You know? That's a struggle. You can't. You just got to hope I struggled that. with that too. Yeah, I mean, there might be gay people. I went to churches. I tried to be an usher. I just tried to draw close to people that seem godly. I mean, there and I, I wasn't what, for me, my experience was, I came roadblock after roadblock because I was seeking man to counsel, man to teach me. And I'm not sitting here trying to teach you. I've just delivered the message. But I've come to realize that our counselor, God, Jesus said, if I go, I'm going to send a helper, the Holy Spirit. God counsels us. If we truly want to seek Him, He provides all that we need. He really does. And what you can be satisfied with, and it might not be what you think. But I don't know. I, I can live a pretty satisfying, happy life without, I got you. You can. without this. You can. Many people can. You can. I mean, most. Absolutely. I think I see what you see as God. I mean, you, when you see God, I see these people, like the people I'm around, the, the people I surround myself with. You I look find familiar, happiness man. in that. You look like I skated with you a long time ago. Got a band, you skate? Life. I used to. <laughs> At uh, Fun Junction. Okay, that's a good part. But you just look like a guy. But, like, I, I see God and the people that are around me. God's a weird term. I see what you see as God and the people around me. You see, you see happiness, you but see things. never be for sure. Because, I mean, when you look at everyone, if you think that only your opinion is right and only the people who share your opinion about them, God is right, then pretty much everyone's burning in hell, right? There's that narrow path for God's chosen people, right? I mean, very narrow, yeah. So everyone's under this different, has a different view of reality, a different view of the world. I mean, I, I thought of it one time. I was like, man, what if all 80 billion people on the earth, or whatever it is, I don't know the number, yeah, just worship their own God? That's 80 billion gods. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Who's to say yours is right, though? Is your your view is right. I mean, these people think theirs is right. Well, I mean, I what can't make no you believe just because if I were to say something about experience. I'm not talking about making anyone else believe. I'm just saying, why is yours right and these other people's view of the world and reality wrong? Well, what I hold, just because well, what you've grown up right. with or what you've seen. I well, mean, I grew up with it, but a bunch of hypocrisy, a bunch of foolishness, and I broke every it one of God's its commandments. Way into your life, and I've, right? I've, I've done it all. I mean, you're in America. This is completely surrounded by Christianity. I've, you know, if you go outside of the community and you go to places with other religions, you don't see Christianity anywhere. 
it's not even mentioned. People laugh when you bring it up. It's just like you laughing about someone worshiping a. In a, a secondhand rock. account, I had friends that just got back from Kenya, and they uh, they had some type of I've never seen it. They just described it as some meetings that people came, and they had an interpreter. And they shared the gospel, and people like did something. You see it all the time, but you can't say for certain. But like a lot of people came up, and they really. They followed up the next day. They really tried to connect and like seem like day after day, three days. I don't know how many days it takes. It takes a lifetime. The Bible says you've got to endure till the end. And the Bible, whenever, anytime I read in the Bible and it says now, I think about it's right now. Salvation's right now. And, it, and, and no one should just let it pass by. They shouldn't trample the blood of Jesus Christ under their foot. Just to say, I think you're answering all these questions from a Christian perspective, right? I'm, completely well, I'm just trying to share what the Bible says, what and that's where the message is. Completely religious perspective, I think it's kind of hard to answer those. It's like evolution, I mean, I think if you looked at outside perspective, you could compare all the data and the, the opinions, I mean, I think you could, yeah. you, could, yeah. you, could you could, you don't have to, you should never be certain about anything. So you look at people, everyone has a delusion about something, right? Yeah, you know, the Bible think, says it's the foolishness of preaching. Yeah. People will get saved over it. It's I a foolish thing. It's like, a, man, this guy's a fool. Yeah, everyone should be a non absolutist which means they shouldn't believe anything is absolutely true. I mean, because when you think about it, we could be completely wrong about everything. Most people are. Most people worship some weird form of religion. What is it, Pascal's Wager? What's that? You never heard of that? It says if... Okay, you follow these religious, you know, morals, and you do it all your life, right? You, you know, you live a good life, and then you die in nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't. What about it? Though? But if you, you know, how does it go? Pascal's wager. It's like if nothing happens in the end, you lived a good life. But if there is something that happens at the end, then you've just given up everything. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know the concept. You well, probably what if know it's like Pascal's if wager. You base your entire faith on that one thing. Then your faith is worth anything. I mean, yeah. If you base your oh, so you live the life, you know, according to that. You know, I mean, it doesn't seem like you have that much trouble if you follow what Jesus taught. If you live your entire base, life based on what's the worst that can happen if I die, then you're not worshiping the way you're supposed to. I mean, what if, that's the thing. You don't know. You haven't died. What if you die and you meet Allah? What does Allah tell you? You messed up. I mean, I'm trying to get buddy. Yeah, wrong religion. You picked the wrong one. You took yeah. the wrong gamble. You I got, can't you got answer unlucky. That. You grew up in the wrong culture, the wrong people. I mean, I just say I don't believe that'll happen. Well, but like you're saying, it, belief it doesn't. When I say you know, my belief doesn't make you believe. What, no, if, you can, if you can say one thing to God right now, what, like one thing directly to Him, what would it be? I would thank Him for talking to you guys. <laughs> I am. Thank you for talking to you guys. Right, I'll let you guys go. All right, well, hey, it was good yeah, good talking to you. Good yeah. Thank you. Good Take it easy. Hey, if you don't want me asking, I'll the camera about it. Like, I don't mind at all, but like... Oh, I wasn't sure if I was going to like get somewhere and try to yeah. preach to a lot of people. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. Last one year I was here and someone threw a beer can at me. <laughs> and oh, almost... No, no, no. They yeah. almost hit a baby. Oh, that's all, even and worse. And then the guy was like... Because I was just preaching I, or I sharing scripture. I don't agree with you. And they I, kept saying, oh, it's definitely your fault. I don't agree with and you. I was like, your first, I didn't really make yeah, it. Throw I don't that. believe with your belief. I don't <laughs> but, agree with your beliefs. But, but I didn't have it on you, I so think it's anybody like, oh, it doesn't matter. Are you going yeah. to post it anywhere? I want to see it. I don't know. No. Maybe on YouTube. Sorry. Right. Anybody that would ever do that is terrible. I've been encouraged by other people um, that I've reached out to them who had, uh, who when they, when they, they would deliver the message. They would really stick with the scriptures. I hope I didn't bear, bear yeah. off too much of that. I hope you know yeah, the scripture is what's going to change people. But I'm not here trying yeah. to get your approval. Yeah, but I saw them preaching the scriptures, and I saw what the scriptures people got. Really, it was amazing what it did. And then I'd watch some other people just like you're a homo, you're this, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah. no. I mean, they're getting persecution too, but it's not the. Yeah, that's we tried not to have the same conversation that we had with you with another guy earlier, and he just wouldn't hear. Just uh, like, uh, you know, wouldn't wouldn't listen to our perspective, which means that we can't listen to his perspective. Yeah, I'll just leave it as man. I got hope for you guys. Man. Hey, I really, thank I you. hope you're serious. Hey, I hope you take it serious one day. You know, oh, it might be tonight. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll take every oh, religion, every option consideration. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a good talk. Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Have, Have a good, good night. Be safe.